<laughs> Wait, I didn't know I was recording. <laughs> I didn't know I was recording. <laughs> I really didn't know I was recording, y'all. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let me just stop. Hey guys, and welcome back to. Now, come on. Come on. Come on, Jesus. Come on. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel, Sarah Margaret Reed. So as you can see, we are doing this pink eye look today, of course, featuring Juvia's Place once again. I'm telling you, if you want to sponsor me, I got you. I'm your girl because this is all that I ever use for every single video. But anyway, um, yep, so this is how this look came out. I think it's cute, it's very like girly and I'm just in love with how it turned out. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please excuse my nails, they look disgusting. Yeah, so let's get into the video. Hey, what's up? Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. It's the best um, because it picks up the pigment the best for colored shadows, which is really important. I'm just pressing that bad boy in. Obviously, it's way past time to get my nails done, okay? I did this pink look on a um, beautiful girl named Pam. Pam is gorgeous. I just thought that it would be cute if I did pink on her and it turned out really cute. So, awesome. Um, so of course I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. Looks like this and the pink that I'm gonna, ooh, and, and the pink that I'm gonna use in my crease and basically all over my eye. Well, I am I'm going to be using both of these, but I'm going to use this in my crease. Coat the brush and tap off the excess, like so. So pigmented. So now I'm just, first I'm going to just press it. Did you see, like you see how intense it is. I just press it in the crease before blending it out. I think, um, that it's just good because if you press it, you get more sh shadow payoff. And then I lightly Ooh, buff it out, buff out the edges so it looks a little bit more blown out instead of harsh. You just want to blend it together. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit in the outer corner just to make it seamless <laughs> mm -hmm. so I just want to kind of update you guys on some things um, one is that I just want to say um, thank you to everybody who is sub subscribed to my channel because it means a lot to me um i don't post videos for views or for subbies and for things like that but i honestly post things that i want to post and i just post because it makes me happy i just want to say thank you to everybody who watched my video about my speech impediment um because it's really like it like the like the um feedback that i have been receiving and all of the uh dms and c comments and texts that i have been like getting like even um to this day is really really bomb and i'm very um and I'm very proud of myself for um, 
for just like getting the courage to actually post it because it's really been awesome and totally worth it and people have been like oh my gosh like thank you so much for just like for just being transparent and being like honest and like you know it's just been awesome i was i was talking about the uh, fact that i have not been to a speech therapist before and then on like, my instagram i put i was actually um going to one i have been going to one that's at la salle university and where is my oh, and i have been um going there so um shout out to maureen and sharon for all of their help with me like um, once a week i would just go just to get some more tips on what i can do to help me um communicate a little bit better and things like that and i just want to say thank you to them because they are awesome i think i want to do um a separate video as kind of like an update on like different things that i have learned from like the um therapy sessions and yeah i think i want to just do like a separate video i just like to use this this kind of brush because it's like it's flat and also like angle so it helps get in right here in this part of the other uh, eye just to curve it i don't i don't even think that this is how i did it on pam um it probably wasn't but i think it looks okay i think it looks cute i actually want to add a little bit of um a, like a like a purplish brownish color to the outside and i'm actually going to go in with that mani palette and use the color aphrodite which is this brownish purplish color here and it's really pretty i'm just going to add like the tiniest tiniest amount to the inner corner like right here where the shimmer and the pink kind of like meet just to kind of deepen it a little bit because it is the outer corner and i want that to be a little bit more darker so i'm just lightly like i'm barely touching it i'm just trying to blend that with the pink on the outside just to kind of deepen it and give it a little bit more depth this complete this is definitely not what i did on pam but whatever <laughs> it's pink so like you get the gist okay so now i'm going to go in with a liquid liner you already know i'm going to use obviously l'oreal because i don't want to use my Kat Von D because it's waterproof and I don't feel like going through that right now. So yeah, I'm just going to do this tiniest line ever. I'm just going to go in with the shade Luna. Luna. And pop that in my inner corner on both sides. You don't need a lot because you want to still keep it pink and this is like a sh shimmering white color you just so you just want to chill keep it at a minimum for sure like so and now i am going to do my face off camera once again and i'll be back i'll be back okay so i'm back i'm going to use a a pencil brush from morphe and i'm going to go into my zulu palette again and use that pink that i used in my crease on the bottom part of my lid and i'm tapping it instead of wiping it just like i did 
in my crease to get the most color payoff possible. See that? No primer. Boom. So I'm just adding some mascara to my bottom lashes just to make sure that they are seen. And I'm using Maybelline's, um, what is this? Mega Plush Volume Express. It's waterproof, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like waterproof mascara because it's hard. It's, it's like super hard to get off. I'm gonna use these ones. Um, I think these are Esquito as well. I just don't know the name of them. And I'm going to prep them with some glue. You just need to clean your um, lashes after every use. Don't follow my example, because I'm serious. <sighs> this is really just not cute. This is really not cute. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. Like, you see all this glue? That is horrible. I need to be stopped. Like, I'm gonna take MAC Cork Lip Liner and just go where my natural lip line is and of course I'm using ColourPop's um, collab with Ellery in the shade Stilo. It's just this for right now. Maybe I'll go back in with something a little bit later. Everybody keeps texting me today. Which is cool, but whatever. Which is texting me. Hey! Hey, Dion. Dion is my best friend, the Shadalia. <laughs> I have two amazing best friends. So, this is the finished look. Obviously, I'm gonna fix my lash, but this is it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot and don't forget to subscribe to my channel especially if you have made it this far in the video okay don't forget to subscribe please lower this lash okay just come on the stick come on and surrender just submit just submit just submit okay okay I think we did it y'all I'm gonna add a bit more of that purple color honestly to my bottom like right right here because I just want a little bit more dimension on the bottom as well like we did on the top I think it's important so oh starting to come up all right I, I gotta end this joint all right. Bye. See you guys next time.